any of the Western languages that have informed classical music, that is to say, the first one was Italian, German, French, Russian, these are languages that if you uh, learn them even to a limited degree, you will expand disproportionately in your ability to, ability to identify and blend with the music that you are playing. If, if you learn French, you will see Debussy totally differently afterwards. It's very hard to be a devoted and passionate conductor of Italian opera without having learned Italian. Because Italian is the singing language. It is not an accident that opera was born in Italy and that uh, it developed in Italy because what governs good Italian also happens to be the same thing that governs good vocalism. And that's why the opera form grew with it. Schumann, of course, with his reverie, with his uh, very, the, the beautiful songs of Lieder takes you into that world of what the Germans call Sehnsucht. It is a word that is so rich in meaning that, it, that there could be lots of translations. None of them would do it full justice. But I think yearning is the closest thing in English. Yearning, some people say nostalgia, some people say melancholy. 19th century German music uh, is laden with this yearning and Sehnsucht.